This is a story of four stupid guys receiving alien technology to save the Earth. Will they succeed? Hello and welcome back to every recap ever. Today we are seeing a sci-fi movie called Laser Team. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. So without further ado, let's go. Game on! In Area 51, the military officials are having a meeting regarding a serious issue. Apparently some evil alien race is going to challenge Earth for a fight. One of the alien species who wants to help humans is going to send some equipment to fight the evil race. So officials select a person and train him from a small age. He is destined to become the Earth's champion. His name is Adam and he even undergoes some AR training to prepare for the day. He is the one. Meanwhile, a football match is happening and Sheriff Hagen gets assigned for security duty. Now let's introduce some characters. We meet Woody a dumb guy and his friend Herman. After the game, Hagen safely escorts all the cars. Suddenly his police car gets hit by a military van. The officers just laugh at him and leave. Hagen then gets a call from the headquarters about a fight in some teenager's party. Apparently the winning football team Captain Zack goes to the losing team party and wrecks havoc. Yeah, he's totally nuts. So Hagen reaches the location and apparently finds his daughter, Mindy. He's a little shocked seeing her at the party and asks her to go home. He then confronts Zack and he tries to resist. Yeah, he finally handcuffs him and takes him away in his car. Apparently Zack and Mindy are really, really good friends, if you know what I mean, and Hagen is not happy about the situation. Meanwhile, in Area 51, Colonel Emery and other officials are waiting for the equipment to drop from their alien friends. They see someone lighting fireworks nearby. Even Hagen sees the fireworks from a distance and goes to arrest the person, as it's illegal to light the fireworks near the military base. Apparently it's Woody and Herman who are lighting the fireworks. They are drunk and celebrating their school winning the football match. Hagen comes rushing to their place and tries to stop them. However, Herman just doesn't listen to him and lights another firework. They see a UFO coming from the sky and apparently the firework gets struck with the UFO. Well, it was supposed to land in Area 51, however now it crashes in front of these idiots. They then check the impact site and see this UFO. It suddenly opens and they see four futuristic armor pieces. Hagen tries so hard to stop the boys from touching anything. He feels it might be some weird experiment from the military zone. However the boys just start putting the pieces one by one. Even Hagen accidentally equips one of the gauntlet. The armor light glows up and it connects to their body. They see a hologram of an alien. He wishes them luck on the upcoming threat. So basically, Zack gets the power of shooting plasma cannon from his gauntlet while Hagen gets a shield. Woody, who is supposed to be the dumb guy, becomes intelligent after wearing the helmet piece. Oh, and Herman he gets speed boots. Yeah, they literally received opposite powers to their personalities. Zack even posts a Facebook post about this. Apparently, he thinks this might make him famous. Suddenly, the military cars show up to capture them. They try to resist, I mean they literally try to use their powers. However, they get captured by the officers. So Zack's social media post blows up. Everyone wants to know about alien UFO and what power they received. Everyone apparently started calling them the laser team. The boys then wake up in the military facility, where Colonel Emery starts questioning them. Apparently they can't take out their equipment as it is now bound to their body. Emery then explains the situation. So an evil alien race is going to come to the earth in four days, and if humans lose against them, the whole earth will be destroyed. Now the fate of humanity lies in their hands. Emery then asks Adam to train the guys from tomorrow. Adam is a little hesitant for a minute, I mean it is almost impossible to train these people in four days. He still accepts the job and goes to his room. He is not at all happy with this outcome. He was supposed to be the champion of the earth but now some bunch of nobodies took his place. The next day their training starts. Each of the individuals undergo some tests to see their compatibility with their powers. However, everyone just ends up failing. Adam feels more disgusted seeing their poor performance. At the end of the day, Zack calls Mindy and tells her about his powers. She is worried about her dad, but she feels relieved when she realizes that he is safe. Meanwhile, some of the military officers see an asteroid falling from the sky. They quickly go to check it and see a weird object stuck in the ground. They think the aliens have provided more armor for humans and decide to use them for themselves. However, a weird mechanical bug comes from the object and gets stuck to the officers. It basically brainwashes them. The next day, Colonel again asks Adam to continue training them. However, he doesn't want to train them as he knows they are going to fail humanity. They then decide to give them another chance. If they fail this last test, they are going to cut their body parts and extract the armor. Woody hears this conversation from their room. Yeah, apparently his helmet has more features than he anticipated. During the test, Woody makes a mental space through his helmet and telepathically tells everyone about the situation. Hey, Daddy. Oh, you got However, everyone doesn't care about it that much and ends up failing the test. Yeah. Later, some doctors visit their room and take them to the emergency room in the name of routine checkup. Each one goes into a different room and they realize that the military is trying to extract their body parts. Meanwhile, the military officers who got brainwashed come to the hospital to look for these guys. Hagen somehow activates his shield and knocks down the surgeon. 
He quickly retrieves the other three guys and they decide to run away from the military facility. However, Adam comes to stop them. Hagen then works together with others and creates a massive shield. This totally shocks Adam and he starts wondering how they actually did it. It's me! Oh! Yeah, they somehow knock him down. Herman then uses his super speed ability and runs away with the guys. The corrupted military officers then go to Hagen's house and apparently they put the same alien bug on Mindy. At the military base, the general is not happy about the outcome. He asks everyone to be prepared with the nukes. It's their last resort basically to annihilate the enemy aliens. Meanwhile, the guys take shelter in Hagen's old house. Zack calls Mindy and she asks about their whereabouts. Later, she comes to the place and her dad catches her acting suspiciously. However, she distracts everyone with food. She then takes Zack to a different room and locks the door. Zack thinks they are getting to a spicy scene, however she just goes crazy and attacks him. They engage in a fight. <sighs> Meanwhile outside, her dad just couldn't stand all the banging noises. Suddenly Zack comes flying through the wall. A few moments later. <laughs> Mindy then attacks everyone and tries to take them out. Woody figures out she is being controlled by an alien bug. Herman quickly takes a duct tape and wraps around her using his speed. They then try to talk with the alien bug. It says some weird stuff like if it doesn't take them out now, their planet will be destroyed. However, Zack suddenly removes the bug and it starts making a beeping sound. Oh, it's got a self-destruct mechanism! They quickly run outside, as it might detonate any time. Mindy comes to her senses and starts wondering what exactly she is doing here. Suddenly, the corrupted military guys show up in their van. The guys quickly run away in the truck, with Herman pushing the truck from behind. The chase battle starts and the military officers get an upper hand on them. Oh, and Mindy is recording all these in her phone. So, the laser team somehow, I mean literally with a stroke of luck, managed to defeat the guys. They quickly come to the school to hide for the time being. Mindy's video also blows up on the internet, and everyone including the military sees the video. Adam is again shocked seeing the guys performing so well together. Meanwhile, in the school, the laser team sees the news broadcast. Apparently everyone is in a panic state, as some giant UFO has appeared on top of a football stadium. It creates a force field and hijacks the broadcast. The enemy alien tells the Earth Champion to reach here in 24 hours to start their battle. If he doesn't show up, the whole Earth will be destroyed. The guys see the broadcast and they are also in panic. Suddenly, the corrupted military guys attack them. The intense fight starts. Zack and Woody manage to win their fight. However, Hagen gets in a tight situation. One of the officers takes Mindy as a hostage and asks Hagen to unalive himself. Woody comes up with a plan, and four of them work together. They manage to defeat the final corrupted officer in a cool way. Woody then detects that the Rayal military is coming to their location. Hagen asks everyone that they shouldn't stop running and just turn themselves in. However, nobody listens to him and in the end, only Hagen surrenders to the military. Adam sees the ruckus caused by their fight and realizes something. At the military base, Hagen gets ready to undergo surgery to remove his hand. He basically feels that this equipment should belong to the real champion, which is Adam. However, Adam comes to his operating room and offers his help. He realized that he can't do such things that they four together can do. He helps him sneak out from the military zone. At the same time, a huge crowd has gathered near the stadium. Everyone is expecting the champion to show up and protect them. Apparently, the three guys and Mindy are also in the crowd. I mean, they think it's better to hide in the public where they least suspect them to hide. They realize that people are really expecting them to help them. They feel ashamed of running away from their duties. Suddenly, Hagen comes with Adam and they all reunite. They steal a police car and manage to reach the stadium. The 24-hour time period ends and the stadium gets filled with alien audiences. The enemy also arrives and the guys see that he also possesses the same armor as them. So it turns out, the friendly aliens are actually the bad guys here. What? They force other species to fight amongst themselves, while they enjoy the show as an audience. The winner's planet gets spared while the losing species loses their planet. Pretty messed up, I would say. Game on! So the fight starts as the enemy attacks and the guys start using shields. After some shots here and their Zack fires a charged cannon and attacks the enemy. They think that they have won, however Adam warns them that the enemy is using stealth. They then get injured by the enemy warrior and are on the verge of defeat. At the same moment, the colonel is getting ready to fire the nuke. Adam tells the guys to use the dark matter cannons, however they don't remember how to do it. So with no option left, Adam enters the arena and fights with the alien. The enemy warrior then prepares to attack him with dark matter cannons. Adam asks Woody to analyze the way and recreate the same thing. Adam basically sacrifices himself just to give the four guys a chance. Everyone then comes to the position and starts creating their dark matter cannon. The enemy warrior also does the same. Their attack collides with each other and the laser team gets pushed back out of the force field. The dark matter collision creates a temporary black hole thing and engulfs everything in the stadium. 
In the end, the laser team wins. People from all over the world congratulate these heroes for saving the planet. While giving the interview, the colonel comes to congratulate the guys. He basically makes a lie in front of the media that he personally selected these warriors. He further explains that they are now planning to attack the aliens who betrayed them and the laser team will be battling in space. The only reaction comes from these guys is... What the there you have it. Laser Team Movie Recap. That's all for today and we will see you in the next video. See ya.